Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Nature Notes. I am Nikki, I'm a practicum student here at Schmickley Reserve, and today we will, be, we will be talking about this wonderful creature, the Luna Moth. So, the Luna Moth um, is very distinct, it is very bright green, and um, it also has some brownish uh, or reddish color around the edge of its wings. Um, it has two different, um, two different sets of wings. It has the front wings and then the hind wings. As you can see, there are two different lobes from each one. And then also has these um, tails, if you want to call them, on the hind wings that um, help them defend against some predators, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So, there are male and female luna moths, just like there are male and female a lot of other animals. And the way that you can distinguish between the two are the antennas that they have. So this here, you can see that it is a big and bushy antenna, um, one on each side. This is the male luna moth. And then the female luna moth has much smaller antennas. Um, so that's a very distinct feature. And when you're looking at them in the field, you would be able to tell that difference. If you notice here, um, there are these two dots here, these um, moon-looking features, if you want to call them. The Luna Moth um, is actually named after uh, moon because Luna means moon in Latin. So that's kind of how it got its name. Also, the Luna Moth only flies at night, which could be another reason why it's called the Luna Moth. Because moon meaning Luna. So we have here a, an egg um, with a caterpillar coming out of the egg. So this brown part is the egg. Luna moths, um, the females lay their eggs around 200 in a week. So they lay the eggs on the underside of leaves. In Shinkley Reserve, they can be found on birch leaves. Um, they like birch trees. They are found um, on hickory trees and other trees uh, in other areas, but in Shinkley Reserve, birch trees are the most common ones. Um, after about a week as an egg, they turn into this caterpillar here, um, break out of their egg, and they end up looking something like this. So green, just like the moth turns into, again with um, orangish or reddish um, spots on it as well, sort of like the lining of the wings. After a caterpillar comes the cocoon. They do go through the whole stage of metamorphosis, so they, um, like butterflies, go through it all. Um, this uh, green, again, they put their cocoons on these birch leaves, on birch trees. They kind of blend in, being this green color with the leaves. And um, in their caterpillar stage, they eat the leaves from the birch trees or other trees if they're not birch trees. In the Shinkley Reserve, they could be found on maple trees or oak trees as well, but birch are favored. So once they move out of the cocoon and become this wonderful luna moth, they don't eat anymore. So the luna moth does not have a mouth and it does not have a digest digestive tract. So it cannot eat, it doesn't eat. Therefore, meaning it only lives for a week, maybe a little bit longer, if they're lucky. So basically, once they become this adult form, they will mate with their mates, and the male luna moths will come from great distances to find the female, and then they will mate that first night, and then the female will lay the eggs um, not too long after, because they only have a week to live. And they're basically laying eggs constantly throughout that week. Um, so here I have a little bit of a range map. This yellowish color is where they can be found. So um, I had um, done some research and they were found in the Dakotas, uh, they could be, but uh, it's not marked on here, they're not very common there. In Wisconsin, um, we are pretty north in the United States, um, so they may not be here for very long. They only usually do one cycle in Wisconsin, which happens in June or July, so you might find them in Schmickley starting pretty soon here, uh, the cocoons um, to turn into caterpillars. 
But in southern states such as Florida, they may have three different generations per summer where they would already be starting in February and March. So um, it just basically depends on where you are. Um, so yeah, the luna moth I thought was very interesting because again, it doesn't have a mouth and it doesn't have a digestive tract. And it only lives for a week. And then also, I just like it because it's very beautiful. Thank you for listening. That was another edition of Nature Notes.